And now to our other top story tonight. Shocking video of a daycare worker holding a small child upside down mm -hmm. by his legs and bouncing his head on the floor. And Pat, KKL News has learned the LAPD is investigating it tonight. We spoke with the child's mom. And KKL's Joy Benedict is live in Mid-City now for us tonight, and this video mm -hmm. is disturbing. Yeah, guys, I mean, this is hard to watch and it's hard to understand as it really is the biggest fear of every parent that they will drop their child off with someone else to be cared for and then they would be mistreated. And that's exactly what this one mother says happened to her four year old child. It's video no parent wants to see. As a four year old boy is roughly handled at his daycare and flipped upside down. I am livid. I'm livid. I'm frustrated. Brianne Battle is the child's mother. She yanked my baby by the shoulders after he told her no twice. Then she inadvertently held him upside down, twisting his arms and his legs, putting her body weight on him to restrain him from telling her no. She said she heard what happened from her son, who said the woman at his preschool heard him. The bruise marks showed up a few days later from her tussling and restraining my son from telling her no. Battle went into the school the next day asking to see the security video from the classroom. She says a staff member pulled it up and she recorded just this small portion with her cell phone, but claims the incident went on for much longer. What I'm thinking to myself is how could you? These are toddlers. You know, timeouts, call the parents, perhaps, like normal, you know, administrative staff would do. Battle filed a police report with the LAPD, and officers tell us they are investigating the incident which happened last month. The mother has taken her son out of the school, but wants to make sure other parents know they have the right to ask questions. Yeah, I just want light shed to this matter. The parents have a right to know how she conducts herself when their children, when their children don't, you know, behave to her according to her standards. And although his bruises may have healed, she says her heart has not. As this mother is trying to understand how the person she trusted with the most important thing in her world could be so cruel. I'm going to get justice for my son. Now we did reach out to the school and the owner of the school. We have yet to hear back. It's important to reiterate the fact that no one has been charged with a crime. The Los Angeles Police Department says they are looking into it. Listen about you guys. Tough to see nonetheless. Joy, thank you. Now to this more violence on LA's troubled transit system. A 